The secretary's going to be so mad at me. <laughs> I don't care. It's Trusky McGillicuddy's The Secretary's Gonna Be So Mad at Me bonus found in the wild. Hey everybody, it's Drewski McGillicuddy. Look, it's still, can you see it? It's, it's still out of, I need to build a background. I'm, I'm getting tired of this. It looks terrible. I look like a, an amateur that doesn't know what he's doing. So, uh, I went out to get some flea medication because we were uh, giving these uh, kittens that I found a bath uh, and some flea-killing shampoo, but there was a little more fleas than I thought that the shampoo could handle, so I had to go up and get some more stuff, and I, I snuck to Goodwill again because it was 50% off day, and then while I was at Big Lots getting the flea medication, I just happened to have... A, a, a clearance sale on some of their movies. So we picked some stuff up, uh, which I will gladly show you now. The first one up for grabs. And I haven't seen any of these movies since the third one. And I don't remember which number, because I have Ghost Protocol and I still haven't watched it, but I picked up Rogue Nation. Like, how can I do this without a glare? There we go. Rogue Nation, everybody. I haven't seen it. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, maybe I'll figure out which one's supposed to be part four and then watch that because I kind of remember Mission Impossible 3. But that's Rogue Nation, everybody. I picked that up. And then I figured, uh, what the hell, uh, I'll cross this one off the bucket list because I've never seen this movie. And, you know, I love Morgan Freeman and Jack Nicholson. They're just uh, two of the most wonderful actors that ever existed. Uh, so... I'm kind of interested. This I think this came out. When the hell did this come out? 2008? Was I working at Blockbuster? I think I might have been working at the theater. Yeah, I was working at the theater when that came out. I just didn't happen to watch it. Uh, a lot like this movie, Body of Lies, with uh, Russell Crowe and Leonardo DiCaprio, which I, I don't guess I've seen any of these movies that I got from the Goodwill. Um, yeah, these were all $1.50. Uh, and then, like, like I said, I went over to uh, Big Lots. When's the last time y'all seen this movie? Huh? Honeymoon in Vegas with Nicolas Cage, James Caan, and Sarah Jessica Parker. And I think that might be her original nose. I'm not sure. But uh, I, I never really liked her. I mean, I liked her in Hocus Pocus. But other than that, what's she ever really been, been good? I mean, maybe The Family Stone. That's a pretty good one. But uh, yeah, I haven't watched this movie since... God, back when they used to play it on TNT and whatnot. And I don't think I've ever seen it not on television. And then this one's not even for me. I picked this up for my buddy Devon Graham. Of course, I don't know if I want to let him have this case because this is so much cooler looking than the case that I have, even though I think that's just a little piece of cardboard that goes over uh, the original cover. But uh, I don't know. I might just keep this and send him the other one. He can kiss my ass. But no, I'll probably send him this one because he he likes to do fancy unboxing videos and everybody will get to see how cool it looks in his video. So yeah, I'll probably be sending him that and a couple other things that he may or may not have ever seen. And then I picked this up because this had a really cool cover and I don't have it on Blu-ray. And I haven't seen it since the theater. Uh, now... I remember as a little kid, I absolutely loved the original. I can't remember if I've ever seen the 70s version all the way through. Uh, and then this one was really good. It was just too goddamn long. But, you know, maybe, yeah, three hours and eight minutes. Jesus. Uh, but, yeah, one of these days I'll sit down and watch this extremely long epic and we'll talk about it. Because I don't really remember it. And this one... I've been wanting this movie for a while, actually, because it's got Denzel and Mark Wahlberg, and this movie is hilarious, and it's action-packed, uh, and I can't wait to revisit it. I've only seen it once, but me and Sarah thoroughly enjoyed ourselves with two guns. So, And then last but not least, I thought I had the first one. I guess I didn't pick it up. I'm sure I could find it for $3 at Half Price Books, because that's how much it was the last time I was there. And I didn't buy it because I thought I had it. Apparently, I don't. But I got the sequel, and I got it for what? $1.50? $1.50. Uh, Kick-Ass 2. And I 
I haven't seen this one. I, uh, I'm back and forth with the first one. Uh, and that's kind of why I never watched this, even though I absolutely love Chloe Grace Moretz. This one I just heard uh, was terrible and did not live up to the first one. And I figured since I didn't think the first one was the greatest thing ever, that I wouldn't bother with it. But now it's like, hell, for $1.50, I'll watch it eventually. Anyway, that's all. That's all. This is just a little bonus footage. I wanted to show you some more pictures of these cats. And then just the cutest little thing. Oh my god. God! So hopefully they all find a home before too long uh, because I'm not allowed to keep them because Sarah hates me. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know if you've seen any of these movies, what you think of them down in the comment section down below. There's a like button, a bell, and a subscribe button if you wouldn't mind hitting those before I come to your house and hit No idea. Anyway, thanks for watching.